Okay, so I'll never walk into one of those haunted horror house attractions at a theme park on my own, but I'll go if a friend goes with me, you know? And don't get me wrong, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna pass out and most likely create a vile odor in the line, but I will still go and push myself past the fear of the haunted house. The same applies to eating your fear foods with you. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now that you know a little bit about my bowel movements, my name is Jax and I document my recovery from anorexia. I struggled with anorexia for 15 years. I've been in recovery for about six to five months, but really, really committing recently. And I like to bring you guys along my journey with me, and I like to be there with you on your journey too, because it makes the Haunted Horror House line a little bit less scary. Still scary, but less scary. But I didn't come up with this idea. This isn't originally my idea. This is from Helena Rose, who is absolutely incredible. She started up this series, and I felt inspired by it, so I first want to give her a shout out before we move any further. If this is the type of content you find helpful and it helps you on your journey having a friend along with you, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I upload every Monday and Friday now, so I put up a poll on Instagram asking you what your fear foods were, and let me say... <laughs> If you don't see your food today, comment down below, let me know what else you want to see and I'll be doing it with you next time. Be sure to get as specific as you want as well. If it's like a specific flavor of Pop-Tarts or it's this specific brand of peanut butter, I will try and hunt it down because like I said, I want to do these with you. So let's see what your fear foods are. Okay, so it is pretty early. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out and do your fear food for breakfast because one of the most popular things that came up with pastries and chocolate and butter. So I'm like, well, as like a fear food of yours. So I'm like, okay, what has pastries, chocolate and butter? So I went to Starbucks and I got a chocolate croissant. And you guys also said filled pastries are terrifying for you. Having a fear food early on in the day, again, like you guys all know, it's something that really terrifies me but we're doing it together. Every single challenge, I wanna do them with you. And it, it means, because I never want you guys to feel that you're the only one facing these fears. You're facing them alone. I wanna show you, no. We're doing it together. I've got my handy contraption here, by the way. Hold on, let's show you. Queen Yelp. Oh, it's the size of my, it's the size of my face. Seriously? Starbucks, you guys, do not play around with your croissants. You know it's good when you get chocolate on your fingers. So I wanna know what fear food you're challenging for breakfast, because obviously you're doing it with me, and cheers. Oh yeah.
can probably tell that was really, really difficult for me. And there's, I'm gonna explain to you why, okay? So I was like, if I'm doing your fears with you, I thought I would also challenge my biggest fear, okay? The one that's been pretty much, oh, the biggest one. So when I first went into recovery, I had a meal plan that had been made for me by someone else because you can't make your own meal plan. It gets you too obsessive about what foods you're eating during the day. It's not a healthy mindset, but anyway, she had put down these specific cinnamon and raisin bagels on my meal plan. And we got them about five months ago and they've been in the freezer for the last five months. And I could not bring myself to ever eat them, even though they were on there. So this is just, so this is the first time I ate them today. Because I was like, you know, they've been sitting there and I mean, I can do burgers. I, I'm doing a lot of other things, but I think it's just what they, it was just the time that they represented and they were just always one of my big, just don't touch it in the freezer. And um, so I wanted to show you guys that I did something that I have been too scared to do for pretty much the last five months and they have been sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And like... <sighs> It, a lot of you had said to me your fear foods included things like cream cheeses, peanut butters, coconuts, chocolates, bagels. Bagels were on there a lot. So that was a cinnamon raisin bagel and then I toasted it with the, you saw the peanut butter, the cream cheese and the chocolate spread. And that, like I said, that wasn't just any fear food for lunch. That was something that I have been putting off for a long time. And I wanted you guys to do it with me. I wanted to to show you guys that even though you get given a meal plan, it doesn't mean it's easy to follow. All of a sudden now you have this great meal plan. It's still, it's hard. It's really, really hard. And then also the big challenge now is not restricting for the rest of the day, sticking to this challenge, finishing it up, finishing it strong, having my snack, having my dinner, having my dessert, not compensating for either. So in my Snoop Dogg video, I had said that you know, when you have a fear and you have a moment during the day where you're terrified, you have the choice to either let that rest of the day be ruined or you have a choice to just let it control you or you have a choice to pick yourself up and move forward. I could beat myself up for saying, Jax, you really struggled to pass that bagel. It should have been easier for you. Or I could say to myself, Jax, that was a huge thing for you and it was tough, but you got through it. And I want to tell you guys, when you challenge your fear foods with me doing this, that it's okay if it's hard, it's okay if it's hard, but do it anyways. If I can push through my biggest fear right now, so can you. And I really have faith that you guys can. Is it something I have done? Did I lead you on? To think that I was gone. Okay, so you guys saw, I just went into Costa and I got that red velvet with cream cheese frosting. Now, because it's a bit later on in the day, all of the other desserts like were gone and like any of the, I'd say safer options or whatever were gone. So I was like, oh my God, you know what? And that was just like a sign. Okay, Jax, that would have been the most challenging thing for me to get would be the red velvet like with the cream cheese frosting. But you know, it's a sign. It was the most challenging thing for me to get. It's something I have always looked at and never ever had the guts to get. And especially like as a snack during the day, having a fear food as a snack, as you guys know, it's like so, it's overwhelming. But then when you do it once, you're like, hey, one day if I want to go and have a piece of cake with my family, I can do it. So 
I know a lot of you said it was one of your biggest fears, which is why I specifically chose the cake as well. Because out of all the desserts and the pastries, I was like, I can wrap my head around everything. There's something about cake. And you know what? Cake is made for celebration, celebrating life, celebrating being alive, celebrating just everything. And we always look at the failures in our recovery, but what about the celebrations? I think it's so much more important to focus on the times that we do celebrate and achieve things and rewarding ourselves like that by it and not rewarding ourselves in ways that feel safe it, like rewarding ourselves in ways that feel just like overwhelming and liberating I wanted to cry in there yes but I was just so just so relieved and you know what it was worth every single bite of it I'm telling you right now that that cake tastes better than any type of apple ever would have true story guys cake is good for you cake helps you with like the carbs make you happy. The cream cheese builds your bones up. I mean, this, a cake doesn't hurt you. If I decided we should be scared of cake, it's not invited to my birthday party. Nope. Birthday party is goals. White chocolate cocos cake. Respect. I want to challenge you guys to go to your local coffee store and get your favorite cake. And then do it with me. Just do, just have something that excites you, not something that bores you and has you regretting it after. Like, you know, after you're like, oh, I should have pushed myself to eat the cake, but I was scared. I was chicken shit. Sorry, I'm chicken shit most of the time. It's, and by the way, having a moment when you do feel a bit chicken shit is a time where it's like a sign from the universe. See, it is a good thing. Try and find good in every single little thing. So there's a moment where you're scared and you chicken out. Say, this is so that I can prove to myself I will do it next time. Be like, okay, this happened so that I can actually have this obstacle that I'm overcoming tomorrow because I couldn't do it today. So it's a sign of the universe saying, this is what you need to challenge. Often whenever the universe is like, this is what you need to challenge. Jack, so I'm like, it's fine, thanks, I'll do that one next time. No, when you're scared, it's a sign that, yep, this is your next obstacle. Anything that scares you, it's a sign saying you chose the right thing. To be scared. Unless there's a stranger in a dark room and you're isolated, that's a different type of fear. That's a survival type of fear. I'm just gonna speak before I shower, so I was like, let me sort dinner out before I shower so that this way, by the time my family gets back, my food's gonna be cooked, we're all gonna be ready to eat together. BT dubs, my mom's ill with the flu, they're having soup today. I was like, committing to it. Yes, I wanna eat the healthy soup, but I was like, committing to just just committing to my recovery. You know, my form of self-care would be doing this type of thing. My form of self-care and self-love would be putting myself first by having the scary option, whereas someone's form of self-care might be healing their body with their soup, but I'm healing my mind and body at the same time. So yeah, this is a way I'm showing myself, Jax, I love you, so even though this scares you, this is what we're doing. This right in here is spaghetti bolognese with red meat. And no egg noodles, this is just regular, regular noodles, as you can see. Loads of you had said you were terrified of red meat, you were terrified of pasta, you were terrified of butter, oils, anything like that. So I was like, let me finish by cooking something I used to love as a kid. And the way we make it at home is with chutney inside the sauce. It's like a secret family recipe, which is honestly that I've never tasted a spaghetti the way we do it. And so that is exactly how I'm going to have it. And I did get... Wait a second. Use this regular mozzarella because, again, as you guys know, what I've been saying since this morning is dairy came up everywhere, specifically a full fat cheese. And again, like I said, the whole point of this, and a lot of you are scared to use this type of stuff without a scale, but the whole point of this is. It scares me too. It terrifies me too, but I'm doing it with you and I'm here to show you just because it's scary isn't a good enough reason to throw your life away. Sometimes fear, like I was saying before, you know, it can protect you if there's strange danger in the alley. It can also, the other side is the irrational fear that will keep you from living your life and keep you from fighting for things that are so unimportant and just keep you up at night. So that's why I'm pushing myself now. The fear of eating this pasta won't keep me up at night, but the regret of not eating it will keep me up at night. Phone, you're ruining my moment. Anyway, so this is done. Go shower because I haven't stopped sweating all day today. So attractive, right? Someone should wife me right now. And I'm gonna let you see when we eat together, when we eat our dinner together. And I think we're watching RuPaul's Drag Race tonight. 
in case you're wondering what we're always like so deeply intent on discussing while we're eating our food around the TV. We never watch TV during the day in the house or anything, but it's just the moment we all veg out at the end of the day. We're all so busy working and it's just like how we zombie out. It's an easy laugh, you know, find a way to lighten the atmosphere. So we just giggle and we talk smack about everyone on TV from Say Yes to the Jess to RuPaul's to, oh my gosh, Snoop and Martha's potluck. I'm freaking obsessed. Master Chef, come at me, bro. I should be on Master Chef and Chopped. So it is pretty late, everyone has gone to bed, and we got the final thing to do, dessert. But um, a lot of you said donuts, which you know, um, I should get sponsored by Krispy Kreme. If you're Krispy Kreme, I don't know why you're not sponsoring me yet, you know? Um, a lot of you said filled pastries as well. So what was I gonna do? I didn't just get a regular Krispy Kreme. Because I feel safe getting the regular one, it's what I'm used to, but I don't play with my Krispy Kreme, you know? So I was like, am I doing it because I genuinely prefer the glazed or because I'm just a little chicken shit? And here I got a chocolate Krispy Kreme with the custard filling. Oh God. I just keep telling myself every time I eat something, this isn't just healing me. It's allowing me to spend more time with my family, as in fun time where we can laugh and talk shit about food and where my mind isn't so focused on food at the dinner table, where I'm not obsessed about how what's on my plate, how much is in on my plate. Yes, that's where my head is at now. But I know that the more I repeat these behaviors, the more I repeat, 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 it will come normal one day. It took 15 years to condition and to make this, and I can't just expect it to be easy because I've done the same challenge 12 times. Life doesn't work like that. It's You've got to think, and we always expect, okay, no, it'll be quicker. You know, I should do this fear food challenge five times in a row, and it will be normal. Think about how long it took us to build up those fears, and you've got to be... Patience in recovery is terrifying because it's battling that fear every single time and it's exhausting But it's worth what we're fighting towards. So here is to you. Cheers. I want to know what dessert you guys are having with me Okay yeah? And this whole recovery journey, I've never regretted the challenges that I have done. I've only ever regretted the times that I didn't challenge myself. I've only ever regretted the times that I chickened out, which happens a lot, as you saw by the whole bagel situation. And if you did like this video so far, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, give it a like. If you know someone that would like this type of content, share it with them. And I'm going to be seeing you in my next video. Mwah.